Hi everybody, welcome back to Jones Jewelry. I really hope you enjoyed the last video. Today I'm going to teach you how to make earrings out of jewelry wire. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Today you're going to need jewelry wire. Today I have chosen the beautiful rose gold jewelry wire. This is 20 gauge wire. Now I also want to just make a quick note of that, the 20 gauge um the lower the number you go the thicker the wire is going to be so for something like this you want to use the 20 gauge wire for something say a wrap ring uh you know out of wire you want to use something that's 24 26 gauge not that you can't use this thick wire but i recommend you know the smaller wire just remember that when ordering jewelry wire the smaller the number the thicker the wire Okay, a few tools we're going to need. We're going to need our pliers, you know, our needle nose, our round nose, our jewelry cutter, our wire cutter. Um, I also have this awesome tool. It's called a looper. Okay, it makes those beautiful loops at the end of the eye pins or at the end of the jewelry that you see. Not everybody's going to have these, so I'm going to show you how to use this and how to make your own loops. Because all you really need are these round nose pliers and you can make your own loops just as pretty as this can. A couple other things we're going to need. You're going to need, you know, your idea, obviously. So what I've done is, this is basically, I made just a little one. So, this is kind of what we're going for. So I chose a beautiful red glass bead that has beautiful pink and pink, I'm sorry, pink and red and a little touch of black that matches very well with the rose gold jewelry wire. Also, there's some crosses on there. And on the bottom, we are going to put rose gold angel wing charms on the bottom. You are going to need your ear wires. And they, they do come in rose gold. You can get them in pretty much any color that you need. You're going to need your jump rings, okay, to attach those charms at the end of your ear ring. You're going to need your little bead spacers, like I had my little crosses, so here are those crosses. They also come that in every color as well, every shape. that I've got stars, hearts, all kinds of shapes and sizes. And that's about all we need to get started. So we have everything all, and of course you know the beads. You can use any bead you want, um, but for a... Like I said, I'm using these red glass beads for earrings. They're really nice, the glass beads. They work really well. And no, they do not make your earrings too heavy. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already cut out one piece. Now what's very important with the jewelry wire is first you want to grab it and you want to just, before you start pulling it, start straightening it out. Straighten it out. Just like that. You're going to measure it. I always pull out a little, that way I can set it down. Hold it up against there and measure it. Grab my wire cutters. We're going to make sure that this is the same size. And always when you're cutting, make sure that this end is facing that way, away from the jewelry wire. Because if you cut it the other way, it's going to make this very sharp. So just pull your curl your jewelry wire back around there. Set it off to the side. And like I said, I'm going to show you how to make a loop using this tool. Which is fantastic. It's amazing. And I'm sorry that I cannot get the hole for it to show you completely. So I am just going to make this real quick. You just stick that end in there. You just want a tiny bit of the jewelry wire hanging over the edge. And once it starts going, I'm going to let go. Squeeze all the way. Okay. And then before you open it all the way, you got to pull it off. And see, it makes beautiful loops. And even the looper, don't even loop it all the way the way it needs to be looped. So what we're going to have to do, 
is we're going to have to use our round nose plier and we're going to finish off that loop because we need that loop touching the jewelry wire. So I am just going to gently grab the loop here and I am going to loop it around until it touches the jewelry wire. Okay. All right. So, and then I'm going to straighten that back out. And there we go. We have our perfect loop. And yes, it looks like it's off to the edge a little bit, but that's okay. All right. So just like any earring, you see there's a little ball there by the loop. We're going to do the same thing. Same thing. You want to put that ball down in there because that helps keep that loop from coming apart. Okay. It's going to hold on to that. So now we're just going to build our earring from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and add my decorations and my beads. Okay, now I'm going to add a small one. One more bead. Okay, now, again, we're going to top that off with a metal ball. And so far, this is what we have, okay? And there's our pretty loop. Now, just to save a little time, little effort, I am going to go ahead and show you how to finish the earring with the looper. Obviously, we have way too much jewelry wire, so you got to kind of eyeball it. Most people mark it, especially when you're getting started. You get a marker, you put it in the tool, you figure out where it needs to be cut, but you will get there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chop off mm, about that much okay now I'm gonna make sure that I'm holding the loop just like that okay pushing that ball down and all I'm holding on to is the loop okay and you're gonna put it in there and you want to make sure that that loop is going to go up the same direction as the other one we got our wire in there, so here we go. Let go and squeeze. And pull it out. And we have our two beautiful loops. Okay, so we just got to finish this one off just like we did the other one. Not real quick. And that one is done. We have both of our loops and we're ready to add our charm and our ear wire. Okay. And I am actually going to tighten this one up just a little bit. And you know what? Please be careful if you're using rose gold jewelry wire because rose gold damages very easily. And when I say easily, I mean very, very easily. Even the round nose pliers will sometimes damage it. And those aren't supposed to damage it because there's they're literally flat there's no edges okay so that one's ready to go all right so real quick i'm gonna make one more actually my bad i'm gonna show you how to do it so you're gonna take your pliers okay you're gonna grab it at the very end okay And what you're going to do is you need to kind of flip your hand, okay? And then you're going to curl. You're going to start with a big curl, holding on to it. And now you're going to go around, keeping a hold of that jewelry wire, because it's going to want to slip. 
See, it's trying to slip out of my hand, but that's okay. We can fix that. And I recommend if you're using rose gold, fix it with your finger as much as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull this back so I can finish that loop. And that's it. So if I were you, I would get some cheap jewelry wire and I would practice the loop because that's basically how how you learn just grab some scrap jewelry wire that you don't care about go ahead and just practice the loop over and over and over and over and over and you'll get it you will okay so now we're going to go back over here and we're going to finish this earring of course we're going to make it exactly the same we can get into making different harder ones later Okay, so we put our big ball, so we need our bead. Okay. So right now we can decide, do we want the big cross or the little cross on the top or the bottom? So I'm going to go with the big cross on the top. Almost there, everybody, and we have our earring. Another bead. See, this is the easy part. See, this is so easy. Anybody can do this. Anybody. And you know what? You made it. It's your own. You can put whatever you want on there. You can make it whatever color you want. There's our second earring. We definitely know that's way too much jewelry wire, so I'm going to go ahead and come over here and trim that off of there. And I'm going to put that in the looper real quick. We're going to have to cut a little bit more off. And watch, because sometimes that jewelry wire will go flying when you cut it. Aww. And I think I may have cut off too much. But that's okay. You know, it wants to flip on me. There we go. Okay, that one's not going to go all the way around, but that's okay. Because it's a start. And remember, we want that loop going the same way. That's why I'm turning it back this way. Okay. Straighten that loop up. Normally, I wouldn't suggest doing it with your pliers, but sometimes you have to. All right. That part's done. Now, the easy part. Adding the ear wires to the top. Slide those right on in there. Close that ear wire. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to go grab one of those jump rings. Okay, hold it just like that. This is how I do it. I'm going to add the earring to the jump ring, just like that. Grab the charm. 
add that to the jump ring okay so it should look just like that grab my other pliers straighten them out because you take those pliers and you squeeze them just right just like this just like that okay get there and close it you hear how it kind of clicked and we have our earring that's one of them anyway let me get it stop there we go all right let's go ahead and add the ear wire and the charm to the other one Remember, when you're opening the ear wire, you also want to use those round nose pliers. You don't want to use those chain pliers because you don't want to damage that jewelry wire. Make sure you get that earring pointed in the same direction. Remember, we put the big crosses on the top. We're going to close that. Put those down. Uh oh. I'm going to have to grab another jump ring. My bad. It happens. They come flying out of your hand for no reason at all, and that's all right. That's what having my work area is so handy for. Because if I drop something, all I got to do is reach over and grab another one. Alright, let's try that again. Remember, put that jump ring on there, add that charm, add that earring, and close it. We have our beautiful earrings. I really hope that was easy for you to understand and I will definitely do more of these because it definitely took me quite a long time to learn how to do this and I'm still not perfect at it. But I figured why not learn together, you and I. So please join me. Please hit that subscribe button, that like button. And if you have any comment, any question, any suggestion, anything you'd like to see made that you maybe need help with, please, please ask. I will be more than happy to answer. I will put my Etsy link at the description at the bottom. But for you right now, that is www.etsy.com slash shop slash Jones Jewelry Crafts. I also want to throw in there that crafts section because I don't just do jewelry. I also do crafts, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Right now, we're just going to stick to the jewelry. So, we made our beautiful red glass earrings with some angel wings. I am going to put those up on my Etsy shop here in just a little while, along with everything else that we've made together. I really appreciate you joining me. Again, thank you so very much, and I can't wait to do this with you again. I have so many ideas I would love to share with you. Thank you so much. Have a great night, and I will see you soon. Bye, everybody.